I'm here to see Paco. Paco? There ain't no Paco here, fella. Get lost. Are you absolutely certain? He's in his office. Take the stairs over there. I don't hear you come in. A crazy beast came around here asking questions about the apartment on Marble Street. I don't know what you're doing down there, and I don't want to know. But whatever that shit is, it's beginning to draw attention. Look, I know you kept me out of prison, but that fucking bitch nearly killed me. Everything you ask. Wait, wait, wait. I think my debt to you is paid. Is the origami killer Lieutenant Blake? Wait, what you Don't fuck around, man. No, no. No, wait. I, I can still help you out. No. Don't, don't keep me. Kept you out of pr kept me out of prison. And Furzis, he's a cop. I'll bash my way in. Or just open the door. Well, better take home my smell the glove. Triangle. Yes, got it. Oh, shit, no. getting better. Still have trouble with my circles and squares, but I think I got my L1 and my R1 down. Why, why can I not move? I just know that R is now the closest to me. Wait, I should ask this guy. Did Paco know the guy I came to see him? Sorry. I don't speak cop. Watch my lips, asshole, because I got no time to translate. Did Paco know the guy? Yes or no? John. He said his name was John. Friend of Paco's. Always let him straight up. <sighs> okay. So for now, I think uh, the origami killer might be Lieutenant Blake. Yeah, R is the one closest... Uh to the button pads, to the buttons. So, I 
I've got uh, I've got that figured out for now. I'll end up a basket case if things keep going like this. That bastard nearly broke my neck. The suspect dead. Someone tries to kill me. On the right track, do you think? Paco knew the killer. That's why he was killed. I seem to spend most of my time getting the shit kicked out of me. Mm, it was too dark. It all happened so fast. Didn't have time to see his face. He... He could have killed me. Why didn't he? Because he knows you. Shit. Looks like a dead end. Road to nowhere. Alright, let's uh, look at some of this crap. That's how we could have avoided the police. Madison Page? What was the journalist doing here? I think I'm on to something with my It's Lieutenant Blake theory. Madison Page? She may be a witness. Paco Mendez was no saint. His rap sheet reads like the telephone book. The killer was looking for something. Oh, there's lots of evidence here. A bullet, right between the eyes. Instant death. Of uh, Paco Mendes sounds like a really third-rate, like uh, Manny Calavera or Scarface. Maybe kind of a, a mixture between the two of them. Well, that was info. In yeah, that was uh, useful insight. Thank you, Norman Jaden. 45 caliber. Well, that helps me. Orchid pheromones. The fucking origami killer. Oh, there's something over here. Oh yes, Madison Page whacked him with the fucking lamp I'm like a hero. Did I get everything here? Let me just do another quick run around, see if I'm missing anything. Oh wait, I am. Something over here. Yep. Give me the prompt. There we go. A forty-five caliber semi-automatic. Shakes and the cold sweats. Better get back to the hotel fast. Gotta go. Need to think about all this. All right.
Out of my way, people. Okay. Well. We've had some interesting insights. Alright, depressed dad. What have you got for us? Ethan, are you all right? I failed the trial. I was supposed to kill a man. I couldn't do it. You're not the origami killer, Ethan. You're not responsible for those murders. I can prove it. That changes nothing. Saving Sean is all that matters now. Uh. This is a really awkward kiss. Yeah, this is like really weird. Alright, I better not screw this up. Isn't he like really messed up? Wouldn't like sex right now really hurt him? Uh. So can we get some exposition as to why they're having sex now? Are they just like, yeah, let's do it. Ah, oh, shit. No! 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 Okay, let's try it again. There we go. Well, more editing for me. Yeah. You know there's a bed right over there. You know... The place where normal people have sex. Do you have any idea how uncomfortable it is having sex on the floor? It's really uncomfortable. So, uh, sex with your clothes on. Really, really good. Really fantastic. Oh, shit. Eh. All right, depressed dad. Go put on your clothes. We've got more trials to do. 
Uh, are you gonna make me go out shower or some other nonsense? Seems quite taken with himself. We can put on her clothes. That'll turn some eyes. Or heads, whatever you want to say. Yep, there she is. The girl who you just had sex with, but that there's no reason explaining why besides, you know. Apparently you both just wanted to have sex. At least it's not as spontaneous and as poorly explained as... Um... Oh yeah, that's right, close. As, uh... I can't remember, Lucas and Carla in Fahrenheit. That was, that was really bad. At least you can kind of see this. She's all like, oh, you're screwed up because you're gonna lose your son. Maybe I'll have sex with you to make you feel better. Or something like that. Maybe I should take it some time to listen to his thoughts. She's the only person I can trust. But now I have to be alone to do what I have to do. Things might have worked out between us if circumstances had been different. Only one more origami figure. Then I find my son. I've already wasted too much time. I've got to get through this last trial. The last letter is... 961 Rainbow Lane. Bye, Madison. She's still asleep. No goodbyes. No explanations. I'll just leave before she wakes up. Wait, there's something here. What's this? following me. What is that? Someone's trying to bloody well talk to me. Except you're trying to talk to me, go to hell. Woody Allen is trying to talk to me. Let's take I a note. guest. All this time and I had no idea. Ethan, what's the matter? I thought I meant something to you. Listen, I... You're a pretty good nurse for a fucking journalist! <gasps> Ethan, I, I, I wanted to tell you, but... What kind of article were you gonna write? My life with a serial killer? No, no, no. How I caught the origami killer. Maybe you'll get a book deal. I hope it was fucking worth it! Ethan, it's not what you think. I... You lied to me, Madison! All this time, you fucking lied to me! I thought you wanted to help me, but you're only thinking of writing a fucking book?! It's true. I'm a journalist. And I knew that you were the father of the boy who had disappeared, and... And I wanted to cover the story. But then I saw what you were going through to save your son. And... And I understood how much you love him. I wanted to tell you the truth, but I couldn't. I was afraid that you... That you... May not believe me. I was afraid that you'd ask me to go. All I want... 
is for you to find your son alive. And when it's all over, I want to be with you. Forgive. I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm so sorry. Sorry can't save you now. I don't know why I said that. You're leaving. Aren't you? It's the last origami figure. The last letters, then I'll know where Sean is. Take care, Ethan. I can't lose you now. Why are you suddenly so in love with him? What what happened? All right, press dad. I'm going to go find something to eat. Wait for me. I'll, I'll be back in 10 minutes. I can't wait. My son's going to fucking die. Oh. Where where am I going to go get something to eat? Now we got to find his son. And I think I know where to start looking. I um I think I'm starting to fall in love. Uh huh. We'll find his son and prove he's innocent. I'll be able to help him now that he knows who I am. I was so afraid he wouldn't believe me. Wrong move, idiot. I should have admitted everything earlier. Oh, I'm still controlling her. Um, is there like a vending machine in here or something? Uh oh, it's the police. Cops. They're looking for Ethan. It looks like a raid. Hmm. What do you mean? Do I have to go in there and ring the phone? Oh, I gotta tell them that the police are coming. Phone. Come on, what was the damn number? I don't fucking remember. Uh, it was 211. Crap, that's not it. Oh shit. What was it? What was it? What was it? Uh, 207. Come on, come on. Pick up the phone. Hello? The cops. They're in the motel. You've got to get out of here. Looks like we're gonna have to jump! He's still on the move! Get him! Uh, yes! Hi. Whoa. I hope I'm going the right way. Yes! I got it! Circle X square. Yes! Circle. Oh my god, I can't believe I did it. Thought I was done for for sure. God, they, sh they brought a shit ton of guys for one dude.
Really? Easy path. No way to go. It's around. Looks like we're gonna have to jump. Right, they won't catch me. Hey, what's the matter with you? Wow, I can't believe I did that part. I'm so proud of myself. I'm slowly getting... I'm slowly learning where circle and square are. How much time do we have left? Oh, jeez. Hmm, 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 hmm. Escape master. Yeah, go back. Lord? I'm sorry, Scott. You should have listened to me, Mr. Shelby. I told you to drop the investigation. Your son is a serial killer. How many people does he have to kill before you turn him in? Gordy has his faults, but he's still my son. You have no children, Mr. Shelby. You can't possibly understand. You leave me no choice. Your investigation is over. For good. <laughs> 